Hello my friends of Hotel Labs, my name is Ormo Toya, welcome to this video. This video is to show you another um, way to do this procedure of how to convert an Excel spreadsheet into a point shape file with Python. Okay, so what we are going to do in this tutorial is that you have a Excel, oh, here we have Excel with, with X and Y and concentration of total coliforms and this we want to um, to export as a point shape file with a system with determine with a determined system of reference how we do that okay so we do it i mean in jupyter we go to scripts we create a new notebook okay and here what the process is is really simple but it requires it will use Fiona so we have to import Fiona pandas and collections collection is a, a package to work with collections <laughs> okay then we need to open the, the Excel file with pandas we are going to open and the index will be the the index will be the uh, station number okay so this is the station number these are latitude and longitude and these are uh, this is the metadata okay that are coliform total coliform concentrations of this campaign okay let's check the data types okay so we are dealing with floats of 64 okay so and then we create a schema and define the system of reference okay the schema plus the system reference is what is called in fiona meta okay yeah this is new also for me okay uh, however uh, well we can define define the schema as properties it will be and properties here we define the different columns that will have our check file the first column will have uh, the observation name and the second column will be the concentrations okay and the geometry will be of points okay we define this and the crs is wgs84 the crs is wus wus84 uh, geographical in the epsg code okay so we open the output shape file okay and the output in order to uh, to to create an output shape file to write our our points we need to specify the name the mode that is writing the schema that is this one the driver that is an S shape file actually you can save it as geojson your package and the other formats and the crs is this one okay great so then we do a loop and the loop okay we run this and then the loop will go through each row of the of, through each sample to each point okay and we'll get the and the geometry will get the coordinates x and y because actually if you can see x and y and in the properties we'll get the observation name as the index and the cf4 as the value of cf4 okay the value of cf4 okay and then once it gets the future it writes the future on the shape file object okay and finally okay finally let, let me show you because this this was of a previous round so i will delete it okay ah okay i have it i have it open in, in qis so i will take it out as well okay so here i can delete it mm, something is going on here uh okay well let's see and finally you close finally you close ah okay 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 yeah i have already open okay so that's why i will close and with that if i update this maybe i have to okay what i will do is i will delete everything 
and then I would wrong all cells. Okay, and this is the this is the output check file. Okay, and this output check file actually can be seen here. So if we go here to convert check files. Um, okay, there is total coliform here, and those are this is the check file. This is a point check file of x and y. It has the on the w on the w the observation name and the values of CF4, of the column CF4, it, it has it, and as well is it has a projection, so here it has a projection and then this is WGS84, okay, so actually it's a complete, it is a complete um, check file, and this is just a um, quick procedure where you can do um, Excel to check file conversions with Fiona and Python, if or especially if you have lots of lots of Excel spreadsheets where you have to compile your data from, and this will can be very helpful. Or maybe just for one, because this is another way of doing what we did, what we usually do in um, with an, with many steps in in the normal Excel and. QAIS, okay? Okay, great, so I hope that you find this tutorial interesting. Actually, yeah, it was as kind of surprising that uh, how fast you can do this conversion with Python, okay? And uh, hope to, I hope that you can follow us in our following videos, courses, tutorials, webinars. Um, Okay, so have a great day and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so. And bye bye. Have a great day. My name is Hugo Montoya. Bye.